In my last video in this series, I said that an example of abduction is a detective who identifies a criminal by piecing together evidence from a crime scene. Let's stick to that theme in this video because in this video, I want to give you five ways to improve abductive reasoning. Did you know that although Sir Arthur Conan Doyle emphasized deductive reasoning, detective type reasoning is one of the best examples of abductive reasoning. Just like doctors, Sherlock Holmes tries to come up with the best possible explanation. He says, When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So let's ask ourselves, what are some things which make a great detective? And what are things we can learn from great detectives to improve our abductive reasoning skills? Let's find out. 1. Improve your problem-solving skills. Problem-solving skills and strong critical thinking are fundamental when you want to improve your abductive reasoning skills. Critical thinking is necessary for private investigators to reach logical conclusions based on the evidence they've discovered. Detectives must use these skills to remove personal prejudice and opinions so they can objectively investigate cases. How do you learn to work the problem backward though, which is what you do in abduction? Well, to learn these detective skills, I can advise you to practice logic puzzles, play chess, and other games in order to build up brain muscle and develop new problem-solving techniques. 2. Improve your attention to detail. Improving your observation skills will help you improve your abductive reasoning, because the more you observe, the better you'll get at coming up with the best explanation for past events. A good detective will be adept at paying strict attention to detail to ensure that they don't miss a thing. In the event that the investigation they are conducting will ultimately result in legal action, it is critical that all variables are accounted for. You can improve your attention to detail by using a few strategic planning and organization techniques, such as creating a work or action plan and making lists. It is also a good practice for detectives to limit. They limit all other distractions while working on an investigation, and they maintain a schedule in which they set aside a certain amount of time for specific tasks. 3. Improve your written and oral communication skills. Sophisticated and developed communication skills are key for any aspiring detective to learn. Strong written communication is necessary to file clear reports and properly document investigations, which might end up being submitted in court cases. Oral communication, on the other hand, is critical for the success of interviews with clients, witnesses, suspects, and victims. It is necessary that a detective is able to ask clear, articulate questions and actively listen to the answers so that they don't miss a thing. A sensitivity to body language and vocal inconsistencies is also important so that a detective can tell when the person they are interviewing is being deceptive or hiding information. So, let's say you come downstairs one morning and you find out that the back door is open. Although you are sure, you are sure you locked it the night before. Then, you want to find out what led up to that situation. 
The best way to find a plausible explanation for it is to ask the right questions to your pre-teenage children, preferably open questions, and to pay attention to their body language and vocal inconsistencies to check if any of them, to check if any of them is lying. But let's say you're in a different situation, a situation in which you need to communicate in writing, then express yourself clearly to find or and to get. So express yourself clearly to get the answers you seek. Four, be patient. When something has happened and you want to find out how it transpired and what exactly transpired, it's important not to jump to conclusions. Patience is another critical detective skill you must learn to improve your abductive reasoning skills. You can learn to be more patient by doing mindfulness practice and by actively building a tolerance for being a bit uncomfortable. And when you're feeling rushed, consciously slow down and force your sail to give your sail more time and number five think outside the box when you think outside the box you explore ideas which are both creative and unusual and which aren't limited or controlled by rules tradition, or your own experiences. You can improve your thinking outside the box skills by, so you can improve your think outside the box skills by studying another industry. Let's say you're a language teacher like I am, then it might be a great idea to study something like nursing or biology. You can also learn about another culture and religion or read a novel in an unfamiliar genre. I am sure you get the idea. To improve inferring to the best explanation, so to improve your abductive reasoning skills, it is imperative to learn to think outside the box. This information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. I hope this video has opened your eyes and made you see that there really are ways to improve your abductive reasoning skills. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. In two weeks, I will be back with a video related to how to improve society. So the video is on how to improve society. So I hope to see you back. I hope to see you back here at my channel. I hope to see you back here. I hope you come back. I hope you come back in two weeks. And I hope you watch the video I will upload then, which is about the vid the video is gonna be about how to improve society. Till then, whew, till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.